I've worked here for about nine years. Anyway, you uh, you got to know what you're doing around here. You can get hurt. We work with landscaping machines, like mowers, string trimmers, other tools like that. We've had a few injuries, sure, but not a lot. Cause safety is a big deal around here. But one day, I, w I guess I was a little tired. Not that that's an excuse, but I slipped up. And, mm, I cut my arm real bad. Oh, man, there was blood everywhere. Now, I was outside working with George, and I heard him yelling for help. You know, we've all heard that you shouldn't touch blood with your bare hands. I looked around. At first, no one would help me. I, I could see it in their eyes. They were afraid of the blood. And my arm started to hurt real bad. I felt like I was just going to pass out. We've had training on first aid and using barriers and stuff like that. Um, I grabbed a clean shop towel along with a first aid kit. Uh, I put on gloves and then one of the other guys called for help. I had a few tense moments that day. Thank God Mike helped me. It is not possible to know if people are HIV positive or not by how they look. Those who are infected with the virus often look healthy, feel well, and are physically fit. Because we don't know who is infected with the virus and who is not, we must use correct first aid techniques when caring for anyone with a bleeding injury. Always protect yourself with barriers such as gloves. HIV and AIDS in the workplace, in our lives, is a reality. No matter where you live, where you work, you probably know someone who has been infected with HIV.